Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dash here once again with another ARC official informational gift. Today, I'm going to be focusing on building. Um, one of the things that has helped me when I'm building taller bases, like the one that I'm currently building, especially when you're using large walls, from the inside, if you attempt to place a large wall and you're on say something like a skiff it'll flash back and forth between the 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 green and how as i see it the bluer color more blue more green this is the more blue this is the more green however you see your colors that's how i see it but a lot of the times you it it, it swaps back and forth between the two when you're trying to place large walls from the inside so the trick that I have found when it comes to that is you come to the outside and it will always snap to where the green is outside, which is what you want. You want the green on the outside. And it does it every single time without fail with the large walls. So now that you've got that, what I'm actually going to demonstrate now is I'll run over here and I'll show you. One of the things we like doing is we like having what we refer to as windows. And what it is, is a double door frame snapped to the inside with a railing attached to the outside as you can see right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real fast. So what it takes to do that is you're going to need two ceiling tiles, your railing, and your door frame. So I'll, I'll start, I'll demonstrate with this one real quick and I'll walk you through it. You gotta place this one on the inside and I jump out. I'm just gonna get the skiff over here. So you've got this ceiling tile here and then you place another ceiling tile right here. So the inside is your door frames. The initial one, it's going to show green. You want to hit E to where it shows the blue color. As soon as you get that, you place it. That is the proper snap point. And then you have to flip yourself around to now where you're looking inside and you get your railing. Once again, hit E to flip it. You want to be able to see green. As soon as you see green, you place it. Okay, and now these ceiling tiles can either be demolished or picked up if you're fast enough. You can pick them up. So once you get that set in place, then you take your railings, and this this right here is, is the, the critical point, is once you get those placed, you come outside and you do your railings all the way up. Don't do railings a little bit, and then the doors, and then the railings, and then the doors. No. You run your railings all the way up. The reason why you do it this way, and I, I will demonstrate it on the next one that I do. I'll demonstrate the wrong way, so that way you guys understand why it has to be done in this specific order. You run this all the way up. Okay, and then come in and you do your door frames all the way up just like so okay and then that now all I need to do is put the actual doors on and we will have what we refer to as windows. It's just a very simple decorative piece of thing that you can do that'll give your base a little bit more 
pizzazz and flair, however you want to call it. So we're going to put our ceiling tile there, so that way I can jump to it, and our ceiling tile there. Now, remember we hit E, blue side, E, green side. Green side is outside, blue side is inside. See, I'm able to pick this one up. Huzzah! Then I gotta run back. Okay, so. I'm gonna leave this ceiling tile here so that way I can continue to jump to it. So we've got this, and so with this snap point, this next one is the reason why you don't put your door frames on until you have your railing ran all the way up, because this is the incorrect snap point. And sometimes when you're just building, you can incorrectly snap it and you'll get rid of an entire door frame and possibly the entire stack. Doors cannot snap on top of railings, but railings can snap on top of doors, which is why you want your railings down first and then your door frames. And you just take this and run this all the way up. Run your railings up before you touch your door frames. In one of the videos that I did recently, it was a showcase of the base that we built on Extinction. And that's basically what we're doing over here is we're recreating it only on a slightly smaller platform. And there's my tribe mate. But yeah, so now that that's done, you just take your door frames and you run those. You're... you're Encumbered, Guth. You're fine. Remember, railings first, then door frames. Because you can snap the door frames all the way up without any issues. I hope... You got what you needed out of this video. I hope that it helped you make your base a little bit more PvE-ish, if you will. Have a little bit more flair to it. I would like to say thank you to my almost 250 subscribers. You guys are what make me keep doing this. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So that way you can see when I upload a new video. Give it a like if it helped you. Other than that, as always, have fun. Stay safe and keep on surviving.